Hello. Not sure. All right. Hopefully this is working. If anybody is on, if y'all will let me know. I have never done a live before, so we are going to hope this is working. This is new to me. See if anybody hops on. If anybody is here, if you will let me know. This is new to me, alive on Facebook, but I'm excited to be here. Hi, I see some comments, awesome. So hopefully that means you can see me and you can hear me. I am so excited to be here. I teach fifth grade in Alabama. So while some people are hopping on, I would love to hear where you live, what grade you're in, or what you teach. Um, while we have it, let a few people pop on and then we will get started. I have a book that I absolutely love. It's one of my favorites that I'm gonna be reading with you guys today. Um, and I think you guys are really going to like it too. So we'll give it a couple more seconds and then we will get started. I'm glad some of you guys are jumping on. We are in our last week of school, so I'm hoping that maybe some of my kids will jump on. Um, we have been doing mostly paper packets with my school, um, but I told them that I was going to be on Facebook today, so I'm hoping that some of them will pop on with their parents so that we can read this book together. All right, let's get started. So we are going to read the book called A Tale of Two and I don't think this is a super popular book. I got it through like a friend that told me about it and it is one of my absolute favorite books for teaching perspective. So we're going to learn about perspective. I read it on this because it's kind of a weird word, perspective, and it kind of ties in with point of view. In fifth grade, we talk about perspective as point of view, but I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard as point of view as first person, second person, third person. The perspective and point of view can also mean something different. It can mean how you see something. And so this book is super fun because there are two beasts and they each see each other as a beast. So I'm super excited to read this to y'all. But before we get started, I want to show you guys some pictures and I want you to think of your perspective or how do you feel about that picture? So let's look at this one. This is one of my favorites. It's a scoreboard. So I'm an Alabama fan. I told you guys I was from Alabama. So I'm going to look at this home team over here as Alabama. I'm going to look at the guests over here as Auburn. So my perspective at the end of this game would be, yes, Alabama won. We did really well. We beat them by a lot, right? But if you're an Auburn fan, your perspective is going to be something completely different. If I'm an Auburn fan, my perspective is going to be, mm, that game, not the best. Kind of want to forget it. So it's one event, but we have two different perspectives based on our background knowledge, how we feel about things, what we love. So one event, two different perspectives. All right, or point of view. So you can kind of use those words interchangeably. All right, let's look at another one. All right, this is a picture of a cookie. Cookies are my favorite dessert, but it's only half of a cookie. So if your mom or your dad handed you a half a cookie, what would your perspective be? Like, would you be like, oh man, only one half a cookie? Don't I get two? Don't I get three? Or would you be like, yes, at least I get a cookie. So once again, it's one event, your mom or dad handing you a cookie, but there can be lots of perspectives or point of view on the situation. So today as we read, I want you to think about perspective, point of view, and how your opinion about something, your perspective about something can be completely different than the person sitting next to you in class or your brother or sister at home, right? The last one is a picture of the beach, but it's not your typical picture of the beach. It is a rainy day at the beach. As a kid, your perspective would probably be like, oh man, a rainy day at the beach. But as an adult, my perspective or my point of view, I love a good rainy day at the beach. I like being able to sit inside, read a book. So one event, one situation, multiple perspectives. So as we read this book today, I have some sheets. I don't have them with me, but I have some sheets that I have shared in a bit.ly link that you can access now or you can look at later. But if I was reading this with my kids in my classroom, I would have them jot down the event 
and the person's perspective. So we'll kind of talk through it as we go, um, but let's get started. So let's read A Tale of Two Beasts, and it's by Fiona Robertson. All right, so my favorite thing about this book is it is broken into two parts. So part one is from this girl's perspective, and it's called The Strange Beast. So as we read through, we're going to talk about her perspective and how it's very different from this strange beast she's talking about. All right, so I'm going to have to see if I can show pictures at the same time. I was walking home from Grandma's house through the deep, dark woods when I spied a strange little beast. He was stuck up in a tree and whining sadly. So if you look at the picture, this is our beast, right? And there's our girl. So what is she doing? She's walking home from Grandma's house. What does she notice? She notices a beast. And her perspective is that he's stuck in a tree and that he's whining. So, so is that the only perspective? We'll see. So I decided to rescue him. She thinks, from her perspective, he needs rescuing. I will call you Fang, I told him, and I wrapped him up warmly in my scarf and carried him safely home. So, her perspective, she's rescuing this, this little creature. She thinks she's making him warm, she's taking him home and giving him somewhere to live, but we'll start to notice, how do we think our creature feels? What is his perspective of the situation? Do you think he thinks he's being rescued? I gave him a lovely bath. Let's see if we can go from this angle. I gave him a lovely bath and a gorgeous new hat and sweater and a delicious bowl of fresh nuts. She thinks she's doing all the right things. I made him a beautiful house and gave him Lord Rex to play with. So not only did she bathe him, gave him new clothes, she thinks she's giving him this new place to live. So what is she doing on this face? She's giving him a new house. What is her perspective? She thinks she's doing something really awesome for this creature that she named Fang. She thinks she's giving him toys to play with, a safe place to live. But how do we think his perspective is? Do you think he feels the same way? I took him out on lots of long walks to keep him fit and healthy. Let's look at those, those pictures. Look at Fang and his perspective. But her perspective is still great. She thinks she's doing a great job. And I showed him off to all my friends who loved him nearly as much as I did. His face is getting, if you can notice, a little bit redder each time. So her perspective, she's giving him friends. She's giving him someone to play with. But for some strange reason, the little beast did not look very happy. In fact, he was looking rather hot. I hope he's not sick, I thought. And he opened the window, and I opened the window to cool him down. But then something terrible happened. He threw up his clothes, leapt out the window, and ran away as fast as he could, back into the deep, dark woods. So, once again, her perspective, she's opening the window to cool him down because she's worried he's sick. She thinks she's doing the right thing, right? Her perspective is that everything is good. She's helping out this creature. I wanted to go and look for him, but Mama had other plans. Dinner time, ugh. Bath time, ugh. Bedtime, grrr. I couldn't sleep. I missed the little beast and wondered if I would ever see him again. But then a small furry shadow appeared at the foot of my bed. So her perspective, she doesn't realize why he's run away. She thinks she was doing all the right things. The strange little beast had returned. He seemed pleased to see me. And I began to think that maybe, just maybe, that he wasn't so strange after all. So, she thinks this is a strange beast, right? That's her perspective. He doesn't think he's strange. What he thinks is all these things that she's doing to him is the strangest. 
one situation, one event, two totally different perspectives. And then we have a question. I wonder why he came back. Why do you think he came back? If he really did have a completely different perspective, why did he come home? All right, the tale of two beasts, part two. The terrible beast. But this one is told from this little guy's perspective. Who do we think he's calling the terrible beast from his perspective? Let's read and find out. So what you're going to notice, I told you, same situation, very different perspective. So what you're going to notice as we read this section of the book is the pages are going to be very similar, but they're going to be told from a different perspective, which in this case is Fank. I was hanging on my favorite tree, singing happily to the birds when dot, dot, dot. So if we flip back to this first perspective, we won't do this for everyone, but let's look. Same picture. What does she say? What is her perspective? I spied a strange little beast stuck up in a tree and whining sadly. What is his perspective? He was hanging from his favorite tree and singing happily to the birds. So the same situation, completely different perspective. So it says he was singing happily to the birds when I was ambushed by a terrible beast. So she thought she was rescuing him from her perspective. He thinks he was ambushed. What do you think ambush means? Based on his situation, we can think that it's not a good thing to be ambushed, is it? She growled at me, tied me up, and carried me off to her secret lair. And remember, she thought that she was doing all sorts of good things. She thought she was naming him. He thought she was growling. Same thing, different perspectives. Wrapped him warmly in a scarf. What does he think he's doing? He's getting, he thinks he's getting tied up. And carried him safely home. His perspective, he is being carried off to a secret lair. And a secret lair. So we know that that means that he's taking her home. But a secret lair is kind of like a dungeon. It's not somewhere you want to be. She thinks he's taking a home somewhere to be warm. So once again, same situation, very different perspectives. She made me disgustingly clean and dressed me up in a ridiculous sweater and tried to make me eat squirrel food. She kept me in a tiny box with nothing for me to do and nowhere for me to hang from. What was her perspective? She thought she was giving him a nice home with a toy to play with. What's his perspective? He wants something to hang on. She made me walk backwards and forwards and backwards again for no reason whatsoever. She showed me off to a herd of even wilder beasts who were just as terrible as she was. So she thought he was making new friends. He thought they were beasts. Do y'all see how different the same event can have two totally different perspectives based on your situation? I had had enough. I made a cunning plan and put it straight into action. So a cunning plan, cunning means like secretive. So he acted like he was getting sick, right? So she thought he was getting sick. He was actually creating a cunning plan. So A to B. So he's coming up with a plan to get out that window. Free, once more, I raced back into the deep dark woods before the terrible beast could catch me. peaceful in the deep dark woods. A bit too peaceful, perhaps, and also a bit wet. And weather like this, one could do with a nice hat. I snuck back to retrieve it under the cover of the darkness.
the terrible beast was waiting for me. She seemed pleased to see me. So if she seemed pleased to see him, that means she was excited to see him. So what do you think he realizes? Is she a terrible beast? And I began to think that maybe, just maybe, she wasn't that terrible after all. And that is the end of the story. So I want you to think of all the different events that happened in this story. The events were the same, no matter the perspective, right? So think of the events and how differently the perspectives were. You can have a different point of view or perspective about any situation in life, right? So it doesn't matter the situation, my perspective might be different from somebody else. And that's important for us to remember as a reading skill, but it's also a life skill, right? It's important for me to look and look at a situation with a different set of eyes, not just mine, not just from my perspective, my opinions. And I think that's important for us to do with our classmates when we are working with them in groups and talking with them in groups. Their perspective, their life experiences might allow, make them have a different point of view than us. And I think it's also important. What did the, what did the, two, the two beasts realize at the end of the story? They realized that they really didn't, they really weren't each beast. The little girl thought he was a beast at the beginning of the story. By the end, she thought he was great. And same with Fang. Fang thought the little girl was a beast. But at the end, he realized that she was pleased to see him and that they could be friends. So I think it's important to look at situations from our perspective, but also be open and aware that there are other situations and there are other perspectives in life, right? So I want you to think about similarities and differences in their perspectives. And if you look in the bit.ly link, there is a Venn diagram for you to fill out. How were their perspectives different? How were their perspectives similar? And then you can turn that into a writing piece, comparing and contrasting the two. So there were some similarities in here, right? They both thought they were both beasts. The other person was both a beast, but the difference is how each of these events happened, right? One thought she was rescuing, the other one was being kidnapped. So I want you to work on your Venn diagram and then turn it into a paragraph. So I hope you liked the book. It's one of my favorites. I just think it's super cute. And I think it is awesome to help us think about different people's perspectives, different point of view as we go through life and as we read books. So hope you guys have an awesome Thursday afternoon and I appreciate you guys for joining me. Talk to y'all soon.